Okay, number five question is inequality that contain actual value, but in this case, let's hope you guess case one because it's a less than. <coughs> so you copy the expression inside the bar with a bar is in between 19 and negative 19. Subtracting 8 both sides is a minus 27. This is cancel. This is minus x. And this is 11. Finally, divided by negative 1. Negative 1, negative 1. <coughs> the answer is x is greater than or equal negative 11 here greater than or equal 27 much better you write like that x you're switching negative 11 here and 27 here and this is less than or equal and less than or equal the other word is like a bracket negative 11 comma 27 bracket because include both because I have equal equal they correspond with the option B okay number six again is actual value and inequality but in this case it's a special case because it's zero on the right hand side now I separate this problem into two problems separate the problem like one a strict inequality or a equation because basically this sign is a combination less than or equal it's obvious that the solution for this part is no solution no solution because absolute value always is positive positive never is less than zero and the solution for this part is one equation that contain only one solution because it's equal zero, it's negative three. Now the solution for the our original problem is nothing or negative three. It's obvious so it's just negative three. Like the option B. Okay, number seven is the last inequality that contain absolute value you isolate the absolute value of the expression negative 14 plus 8 is equal minus 6 so, so far we have absolute value 7x minus 4 greater than negative 6 remember when the right hand side is negative It's a special case, special case. Uh -huh. Now, in this case, greater than, uh, it's obvious that okay, the expression in the left hand side, is the actual value expression, always is positive. And positive always is greater than negative 6. Now, the solution is all real numbers are from negative infinity to positive infinity ok, 8 is a typical question about the factorization specifically greater common factor so for finding the greater common factor between 48 and 60 we are doing the primary factorization this. this is 224 this is 212 this is 26 this is 2, 3. 60 divided by 2 is 30. By 2 is 15. Uh, 15 is 3 and 5. Uh -huh. Now, greater common factor in the numerical part. Okay, I saw clear that we have 2, two in common. It's the only uh, common and 2 that we have. So we have 2 times 2 
and also we have one, one three, one three also, one three, and two times two is four, times three is twelve. This is the the GCF, the GCF, and the and the numerical part, and the variable part. You take always the smaller exponent, which is m to the cubic power. m to the cubic power is the variable bar. Now, conclusion. Factor out. Factor out the GCF, which is 12, and to the cubic power. Open parentheses, and when you, you write the remaining part. So you factor out out two two and three stay or remain two and two get four so it's four four we have m to the nine so you factor out three remain m to the six plus so you factor out in sixty two two and three stay only five so five and to the to the second because five minus three is two minus five because sixty when you factor out twelve m to the given power is five and no m because we have three m here and you factor out three outside inside we have nothing and this answer corresponds with the option option D It's obvious it's option D. Okay, now factorization by grouping. By grouping is different. By grouping you pair one couple and another couple. Okay, let's see the first couple. What is the GCF in the first couple? It's 2x open parenthesis, you put the remaining part is 5x minus 2 and what is the GCF in the second couple? well maybe 5 sometimes you need to see, see it's small, much better factor out 5 or negative 5 in this case much better negative 5 why? because inside the parenthesis we have 5x minus 2 so you try this binomial and this binomial look like exactly the same. Same same binomial. When your situation happens, you factor out x minus 2 factor, and inside the new parenthesis we have 2x 2x minus 5. Uh -huh. And this is the answer. 5x minus 2. 2x minus 5 que corresponde with the option B you see guys not necessarily in the same order right this is equivalent so you switch in the factor the answer is the same because the order of the factor to doesn't affect the multiplication ok number 10 is factorization trinomial 5 x squared minus 5 x minus 30 First of all, is there a common factor? Yes, 5 is a common factor. x squared minus x minus 6. Uh -huh, because 5 times 6 is 30. Now, factorization the trinomial. Open two parentheses. I put the name of the variable, which is x. And I need to find two number. I multiply each other, give me 6. And somehow, when you're adding or subtracting, it's 1. It's 3 and 2. 3 times 2. 6 and 3 minus 2 is 1. This is negative because it corresponds with the sign. This sign is this sign, and the sign of the greater number between 3 and 2 is 3. And the other is different because this sign is negative. When the sign is negative, it's different, it doesn't plus. They correspond with the option, option D. That's the correct answer.